old. You see the equipment that you need. All right. Go so if you don't have it already, go get it. You should have ordered it. Whatever. But yeah, make it happen. So on the next video, I'm going to show you actually how to go live. All right. And today I'm going to show you the one way to go live. Um, you can use a butt. It's free. And so that's why I'm showing you this particular one. But if you have another type of broadcaster that you would like to use, you can use that. It's the same thing goes. I personally use NiceCast. If you see here, butt stands for broadcasting using this tool here. Okay. Go to swordforce.net. Then it's going to download. Save it to somewhere where you know you're going to where you know you can find it at. Go ahead and let Buck download. Alright? I'll keep this up so you guys can hear it as well. Okay. So, I need to put it in my applications. Once I put it that in my applications, I need to go ahead and I'm gonna put this on here as well. Okay, so... I don't know how you do it on Windows. I'm pretty sure the uh, thing is very similar as well. And so here we go. Um, we've got Bud downloaded, and now you want to go live. Remember, I told you on here, DJs. This is what what you set up yourself to go um, to go live with. Okay. Remember, you go in here. You go to create. At, you add a DJ here. You put a username. Password, confirm, real name, give everybody whatever type of permission they need, press save, whatever. Okay? So, if you go to overview, right here, well, really quick links, quick links, it's going to show you the information that you need to um, go in. So, when your D auto DJ is running, you're going to need to put the host name. Okay? I'm going to block that out because everybody don't need to know your host name. But you do that, okay? Put your host name in. Then you're going to put your port number, which is right below there. Okay? Copy. Now, your passwords. Right here is going to be it's the username and password for one of your DJ accounts. So I believe on here, mine is Tech Girl Crystal or something like that. Let me see what it is. I can't remember. Uh, te yeah, Tech Girl Crystal. So, my password is Tech Girl Crystal colon and then my password. You can replay it later. You need to go to record and you need to, uh, you know, name your show. So, name your show. I'm going to name this. This is a test. All right. And um, you can split the files or you can, um, you know, whatever. Then you need to choose a place where you want your recorded files to go. So you're going to click on this. It's somewhere within your directory. Okay. Create a folder that says recorded shows. Okay. Now this is where your uh, your thing, your 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 uh, your Lord have mercy. I can't think of what that thing is called. And that's a shame. Um, this is take three, take three. All right, so this is where your mixer is going to come in. You're going to have your microphones plugged up. If you have a phone, plug, plug your phone up, and you're like, oh, how do I get a phone to get callers to call? That's a whole nother video. Okay, um, YouTube it figured out, or I'll do a video. I'll do a video shortly. Okay, so you do that audio. MP3 recording, you can record at whatever quality you want to. 128 is fine. Your um, yeah, your codec needs to be MP3. Your bit rate is 128k, and it tells you that here. Okay, MP3 128. That's all you need to do when you're going live. Okay, you don't need no more, no less. It's gonna be good. I guarantee you. So you're going to put your um, thing. I'm going to put the um, default as my input microphone. This is not something that I recommend you do. You should plug up your mixer and connect it to get a quality sound. Okay. So from there, only thing you got to do now, but it's already set up for you. Only thing you have to do, you can go in, turn this up or down. 
um, and everything. So you want to make sure you stay with, uh, within this range here, the four zero. If you go over six, you're going to get static. It's going to be sound very, very, very ugly. So, all right, there we go. So anyway, if you press this, this, this is only going to record what you're doing right here. You want to go live? You got to press that little good wholesome play button. Okay, so let's go ahead and press this play button. It's going to connect to the server. Hello and thank you for tuning in to VSC Gospel Radio Internet Station, where SMP Productions are the owners of the station. This is just a test conducted every now and then. However, we want to appreciate you and thank you so much for tuning in to VSC Gospel Radio. God bless you and have a wonderful, wonderful evening. For tuning in to VSC Gospel Radio Internet Station. Where SMP productions are the only the space. Just test conducted every now and then. However, we want to appreciate you and thank you so much for tuning in to VSC Gospel Radio. On mine. But however, once you go into there and you go into your thing, you're going to see uh, I got radio shows right here. And then you're going to see where our recording shows right there. Where I got this as a test, and if I was to play this particular one, it'll have the same thing, and I'm able to go back, re upload. <laughs> it's really, really, really easy, as you see. You just put your stuff in your in your program, press live, and go. Again, there's free software, there's sound broadcasters, there's Nicecast, there's, um, I think, somehow you could do it through uh, Winamp. Or something like that. I've never used one else, so you know, I don't know. But I heard you can do it like that. So yeah, that's how you that's how you go live. And when you come out, it it, it feed back into whatever you're going, what whatever that you got going. And that's how you go live. So God bless.